Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. Mega Crafty is a channel where I document all about my small business, the Pampered Pet Club, from starting it and then just documenting all the way through so that I can look back at my journey but also share tips and tricks that I learned along the way with you. If you're interested in small businesses, starting a small business or running a small business, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you're notified when I post an update. A lot of you have been asking me how I make the bandanas, so today I have moved my camera setup downstairs um, into my sewing section behind me, um, and that's why I've got no makeup on or anything because today I'm making bandanas. The ones that I'm going to document myself making are, I'm going to make one for Alan, but I'm also going to make one for um, Bailey and Noah, who are one of my best friend's dogs. I'm going to meet them for a walk later, so I'm going to take them with me just as like a little, hey, I made these for you. <laughs> So here we go, let's start from the start point. What I do is I set up my work area. Um, I might have, I'm not sure if I've said before, but I do just do it all at my house. So this is our dining room table. There's only two of us, it's quite small. Um, and basically I just clear it off of all the like the flowers and stuff. Usually like I just cleared these off it. <laughs> um, and then I set up my sewing machine and I set up my little box of stuff and then I've got my cutting mat as well, I'm not sure if you can see here, I've got my cutting mat um, that just goes on the table as well um, and then I choose my fabrics from my drawers these are my drawers where I keep all my fabrics in and then, it's really weird, I feel like a vlogger <laughs> um, and then this is my setup here with my mat and my sewing machine and my water and my little box down there Let's get cracking and sew some bandanas. Noah and Bailey are twins. Um, they are little cockapoos. So I've chosen to use two matching fabrics. So this green one here, this orange one, which they have the same pattern on them. I don't know if it's like visible on the thing, but they are the same pattern. So I'm gonna use these two today to make the bandanas for Noah and Bailey and then if I have time, I'll make one for um, Alan as well, but I'm going to meet them at one, so it's half past 11 now. I need to get cracking. My camera just my camera just died, so I have had to move to my phone, so sorry the quality has just dropped, but let's keep filming because I've not got long. I've got not got enough time to charge my camera battery. So the first step is that I choose my pattern size. Um, for Bailey and Noah, I'm choosing a medium, um, and then I'm just gonna cut that out on here and then get sewing. So I'm just making sure that um, the section of the fabric that I'm cutting off is only what I need because I don't want to waste any material. So the end of the um, pattern is right on the edge of the material cross. Um, and the reason that I fold it over like this is so that it, I don't have to sew the top and it just has a really nice like seamless fold rather than having to stitch all the corners together. So that's why I do that. Okay, and then I just take this and cut it out. The same again with this fabric. Okay, so now I have the two diamonds. They are very creased, but that's not a problem because I will iron them before they go. Once they're, once they're finished, I'll iron them. Um, so now what we do is, because um, I've got this shape here, I'm gonna cut the corners off to the right size for the medium. And that's to allow enough room for the collar to go through. Uh, and then I'm going to flip them and sew them. Okay, so let's go. This actually has a ruler marked on it, so I don't need to measure it um, with like a standard tape measure. I can measure it on this cutting out um, board. That's what the bandana will look like, the shape. Um, once it's all cut out properly, obviously at the moment it is still a, some sort of octagonal hexagon shape. I'm not even sure which one's the right one. And then I just do the same for this one. To check 
that they line up, what I do is I just fold them in half like this. And then if they're slightly misshapen, then I just cut the um, area off so that they are exactly symmetrical. Now we do have our finalized pieces of material, so it's time to get sewing. to make sure that it stays in place so I flipped it inside out um, and then I'm just going to sew the uh, <laughs> myself watch the needles uh, and then I'm just going to sew the um, edges together um, and then that will be it done <laughs> Time to flip it and reverse it. Okay, so that is both bandanas um, sewn together. They look really creased, so I'm going to iron them and then we will get onto the personalization. Woo! Okay, so this is my uh, Cricut setup. I've got the machine ready to go. There's just a stencil that I cut out before to check that the machine was working all right. Um, and I'm just gonna stick my vinyl onto here and then the machine will cut out the names that I'm gonna use and then we'll move over to the heat press. So I'm just gonna do that now. So it's now a lot later. I actually didn't finish making the bandanas in time to take them with me for the walk. We had to go um, and, but that's fine. I will just give them to Liv next week when I see her um, for our weekend walk. Um, so the next step in the process, so I've ironed um, the bandanas. The next step is to, is to turn my heat press on, which I'm doing now. It's just bringing up to the right temperature. And then I'm not sure if you can see, I'm probably not gonna show, but the names have been cut out onto this piece of vinyl. Um, so I'm just gonna cut them out now and pull the vinyl off. So it just leaves the letters. Um, and then I'm gonna use the heat press to transfer these onto the fabric. Okay, so here is um, the name it's been put onto the piece of fabric here. Um, I can still lift it off, but once I put the heat on, then that name will be stuck on. Okay. And there we go. That's Bailey's. found it really interesting here are the two final bandanas so there's the one for Bailey and the one for Noah thank you for watching I hope you found this video really informative if you did then please drop me a like and subscribe don't forget to press the notification button so that you're notified when I post another video see you in the next ow ow that's really hard that hurt oh that's my finger See you next time, guys.